let us do this thought experiment. Assume I went to some 100 people randomly and asked them, so you are working in this place, how did you get to know of this job? Who told you? You will be surprised to note that uh, more than 90% of them will say, uh, this person who was my friend's friend or this person I was not close to told me about this job, so on and so forth. You will never hear a person saying, oh my dad told me of this job opportunity. Very rarely you might encounter such an answer. But the most frequently heard answer will be this answer that a very far away relative or um, very um, not so close friend told me of this job opportunity more than 90 percent. Now, I am sure most of you are finding this against your common sense. Uh, you are finding it very counterintuitive because the intuition says close people are the ones who will help us with job opportunities. Oh, what is what's, what's happening here? Is it because our close uh, our friends do not want to tell us of the job opportunities? Not really. The reason is something else. Let us see what exactly is the reason. The answer is actually convincing if you, if you know the right reasoning. I am going to give you an example. Assume I have 5 friends A, B, C, D and E. A, B, C, D work in the same place where I work, while E is someone who does not work in the same place as me and E does not know A, B, C, D, while A, B, C, D they all know each other. Assume such a scenario. Now, whatever A, B, C, D knows, mostly even I know because I am from the same place. There may be many other people who would have told me the same information which A, B, C, D might tell me. Well, occasionally A, B, C, D might tell me something new, but mostly whatever they say, even I would know. But look at E's role here. E is actually, as you can see here, E is from a different world altogether and hence this new information that E has is that of this new world that I am slightly away from. So, E is the one who helps me get to know of things from his world which increases my sample space of information which A, B, C, D cannot give me. Given that E is a a uh, distant friend of mine because he stays in a different world, he probably is a weaker of my uh, friends. I call that a weak tie, while A, B, C, D they are strong ties. Strong ties are weak when it comes to um, uh, getting job related information, new job related information, while a weak tie such as E is strong in the sense that any new information that I get which is worth knowing, let us say in, in terms of new job is from E and hence this weak tie is actually strong while strong ties are actually weak. Grano Vetter in the late 1960s, he conducted this experiment by going and asking people, how did you find this new job and most of them said, it was through an acquaintance and that is when he got this idea that there is something hap counterintuitive uh, stuff happening here and let me experiment it properly. He conducted his experiments, concluded that it is a strength of weak ties that is um, in play here as and always uh, it sounds a little controversial and the scientific community did not accept his uh, claims. In fact, uh, he first published, tried publishing it in 1969, but his paper got rejected. It was only in 1973 that people um, started accepting his views and it got published and after it got published, it became really, really famous. Famous simply because it is such an important um, piece of uh, um, uh, information, uh, yet very counterintuitive, you see. The fact that your acquaintances are very, very important is uh, something that, that is to be learnt in the sense that the moral of the story is that keep your acquaintances happy, 
you should not just treat your good friends, you should treat your acquaintances very happy. Now, there is some kind of a fallacy in this statement. If you keep your acquaintances very happy, they will become your good friends. <laughs> and when they become your good friends, uh, probably you will not get uh, job new information from them, new job related information from them. Uh, so, the point is, uh, yeah, you should have a big friend circle, your opportunities increase when you know a lot of people, but then a new information actually comes from someone who is not so close to you for the reasons that I explained just now. Okay. So, now let us go ahead and see some um, uh, slightly mathematically um, uh, abstract principles that surround this concept. 